What's going on everyone? Alpha Mike here with another unboxing tabletop review. This time I have the Beretta 92X Performance Production Optics Series Pistol. This is new for September 2022. I actually picked this up at the Beretta Gallery in Dallas, Texas, and they told me that they had just received it the previous day and I was one of the first people to actually purchase one. So rewind a couple years in Beretta release the standard 92X Performance. It was just a regular production model gun, only had iron sights and no way to actually put a red dot optic on unless you wanted to put a dovetail adapter. Well, fast forward a couple years and they released the 92X Performance Defensive Series model gun that was geared towards IDPA because it was lighter, had a lightened frame and lightened slide in order to meet the carry optics regulations. Um, however, there's still no red dot option for the standard 92X performance unless you wanted to buy both models and swap the slide onto the standard 92X performance. Well, Beretta remedied that and released the USPSA version here, um, which has the standard heavier frame with the rail and then is just cut for a red dot optic. So I will be doing a basic unboxing video and then um, once I take it out to the range, I'll do a more in-depth review. So let's get into it. it. Does come in the really nice hard-sided case that is lockable. You can fly with this. Um, it's very nice. And then inside, you'll see here it looks very similar to the standard production model. There are some additions inside the box, but we'll go ahead and go through it here. Comes with two of the 15-round Beretta magazines magazine loader, the Breda wraparound grips, cable lock, and then warranty information, manual, adjustment, tools, etc. I'll go ahead and put the gun aside for now. And then what is also included in the box, which I'm really excited about, and I think this was a great great addition is it comes with two of the Tony Systems optics plates. Um, Beretta makes their own red dot optics plates. Nothing wrong with them. However, I prefer the Tony Systems plates and is actually what I use on my competition pistol. They are very nice. They're machined really well, very thin. And the best part is, is that they work for a majority of the optics that are out on the market. So, the only tricky thing about these was is the company is in based in Italy and it was usually takes a long time to actually get these if you order them. And there's uh, maybe one or two retailers in the US that actually um, sell these. So it comes with both versions of the optics plates that they sell. The type A and the type B has a little chart here what they correspond to. The type A corresponds to Sig Sauer, Burris, Vortex, Eotech, Leopold, etc. And then the type B is for your Seymour, Sig Sauer, uh, Trijicon, Hollow Sun, Optics. So pretty much all the major red dots that are on the market, you can run with these plates. And I'm really happy about this because this is what actually makes a gun optics ready out of the box. All right, so moving on to the gun itself. First thing that you'll notice picking up the gun is that it is very heavy, just like the standard 92X Performance. It comes in at 47.6 ounces unloaded. I'll go from the front to the back here. It does have the red fiber optic front post. The barrel is 4.9 inches. Obviously, it is cut for the red dot optic. It does have the same adjustable rear sight. It has the gas pedal slash takedown lever. And then it has the frame mounted safety, so no decocking levers on the gun. And then the trigger bar does have an adjustable reset. There are some screws in here that you can use an Allen key to adjust the reset as you see fit. So also has a skeletonized hammer, Vertec frame, does have the wraparound grips you can put on there as well, or you can purchase the lock grips that I have on my competition pistol. And then um, also has the rail on the frame itself. So um, trigger out of the box is really nice. One thing I notice is it feels a little bit nicer than the standard 92X performances that I've bought in the past. Uh, when I was at IDPA Nationals, they told me that they did 
um, tune the trigger a little bit. Uh, it does feel just a little bit lighter. Uh, same crisp wall and break and then reset. And again, that reset is adjustable. You just have to use that Allen key that's provided. You can also tune the trigger. You can get the race competition hammer, which will take up some of the, um, will reduce some of the take up, um, I should say. And then you can also lighten the springs as well as uh, change out some of, the, some of the other components. So um, one of the key differences between this gun and the 92X Performance defensive model is not just the frame here, but on the slide, which like I said, I would put on the standard 92X Performance to shoot in carry optics, uh, has some of the material cut out. You can see right in here, on both sides is cut out, so it makes weight for IDPA. So it's gonna be lighter than this model here, because if you look, you can see that there's mo no material cut out. So it's pretty much the same Brigadier slide um, that comes on the 92X Performance. I did shoot this gun at IDPA Nationals and it actually tracked really well the Recoil did feel a little bit reduced compared to this slide here, just because this one is lighter. Um, so that does help. If you're in the market for a carry optics gun that you can also shoot in production division, um, you, I really would consider getting this gun. It's nicer because you don't have to buy two guns now. So you can just pick up the 92X optics ready version and be good to go. It should be in retailers uh, as of the making of this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you. Bye.